Tinska prominent early and Bullwinkle is settling towards the end as they run along past the 300 in the first circuit and the grey Jack will do goes to the lead and lands about a length and a half in front of Gilligan second Privy Council is third and two links to Vautinsk Bullwinkle is moving up on the outside of Vautinsk now to go into fourth and fifth placing and then pass master when they leap this hurdle moon chase through on the inside of him being followed by wild trista towards the end down the hatch and yo yo joe whipped the field in they've jumped the first three of 11 hurdles in the race by the 2200 and out to the riverside and jack will do more than two links to gilligan two links to privy council a length and a half away vow tensk and three quarters to bullwinkle one and a half to moon chase and then two links further back is down the hatch improving out wider from wild trista and past master and yo yo joe is last of all over the fourth hurdle in the race now that's the first on the riverside jack will do by one and a half gilligan is second privy council is a length away third on the rails fourth is vow tensk and bullwinkle is fifth on the outside in the blue colors one behind him moon chase over on the rail at the next hurdle and then two lengths further back down the hatch from past master wild trista and two and a half last is yo yo joe by the 1600 meters here's the next hurdle with jack will do the leader overwood didn't jump it very well he lands by more than two lengths to gilligan second three lengths to bullwinkle in fourth placing privy council then vow tensk fifth the inside one and a quarter to the top weight moon chase and two lengths down the hatch past master wild trista and yo yo joe as they leap that next hurdle near the back of the course at the 1200 meters here's the next one coming up jack will do has increased his lead he jumps that one about five or six lengths to bullwinkle who's moved a second around the outside of gilligan more than three lengths to vow tensk moon chase then privy council two lengths down the hatch another four lengths yo yo joe past masters a long way back and wild trista last when they leap this next hurdle and jack will do has come back to the field and he's been claimed by bullwinkle who finds the lead a long way from home moon chase is only a length and a half away and within challenging distance now gilligan back fourth on the inside and then vow tensk down the hatch coming around the outside from privy council yo yo joe pass master next to last in a bunching field and four links to wild trista at the bend now there's two to jump 500 meters to run and the grand national winner moon chase has raced around the field and gone to the lead over bullwinkle when they set sail for the run to the judge and they're clear from vow tensk here's the second last one coming up moon chase jumped it better than bullwinkle he drew about a length in front now and then vow tensk gonna break to down the hatch and then gilligan and pass master at the last moon chase over it well more than two lengths bullwinkle and then vow tensk and that looks the trifecta 100 meters to go and moon chase is nicely here with his big weight of 71 kilos class prevailing here and moon chase goes on to win it easily photo for the miners bullwinkle and vautinsk then there's a long break in the field to gilligan past master followed further back by down the hatch yo yo joe while trista then uh, came uh, at the back of the field jack will do and privy council is a bad last in the race Good hurdle of moon chase and gets the prize 390 180 over two bullwinkle 160 and number three vartinsk 420 handicapper will be happy one two three in the autumn hurdle at flemington race one kembler is six away and uh, number one here is la slew at 820 tyrrell's pass at 860 uh, taralga's time at 60. form stand by for action gates of flash He's intelligent moving towards gate three or four. Happy Spring well behaved. Settles better this time and they're racing. They've jumped in a great line. Boulevard out wide away quickly. Forest Express away smartly. Katima's going quickly and cut above. One off the fence going smartly with Happy Spring. On settling down, the leader is cut above. Katima's second. Third on the outside, Happy Spring. Forest Bronze fourth. Intelligent going up. Miss Zoe three out. Boulevard four wide. Countess Christie getting back and a half away to Excitant. Coming off the back straight now at the 750 metres. Mark and Katima's in front. She's working hard. She led from cut above. Happy Spring third. Boulevard covers ground. Forest Express on the fence from Intelligent. Miss Zoe, Countess Christie is awkwardly positioned. Second last with nowhere to go, seven off the lead. And Excitant whipped them in. Katima found the rail on the bend and straightens up over a length in front. Happy Spring on the outside chasing, cut above back to the fence. Then came Boulevard, Miss Zoe and Countess Christie is well back at the 250 and Boss is yet to pull the whip on the leader. It's Katima in front of cut above, Happy Spring, Miss Zoe. And now Countess Christie and Forest Express in the centre after Katima. Countess Christie's loomed up alongside of Forest Express Express at the 50. Forest Express is matching Countess Christie, but she's coming home the better of the favourite. And Countess Christie goes home to.
to win from Forest Express. Four lengths away, Miss Zoe third. Katima weakened on a run from Boulevard. They were followed by Excitant, well back cut above Happy Spring, and Intelligent was last home. Countess Christie getting back, well back off the speed today, came to the extreme outside and at 2.10 and $1.20 has finished way, way too good for them. Forest Express has run a very cheeky race, number nine at lengthy odds at $3.10. And Miss Zoe, number 10, will finish in third position at a dividend of $3.60. So Countess Christie, coming from her very good win at Warwick Farm last time out, has backed that up with a strong performance today. The time is 110.52. The race record at 1953, so they're about a second outside of the race record held by all the chat. Home in 35-4 rows, so there was a lot of speed in the early stages. Katima was flying up front after trying to cross. That set it up for the back markers to get home. Countess Christie was second last on the bend, but Dai extricated this big, strong filly by Masque out of the... Capote bred mare, brilliant deduction to the extreme outside and trained by the master of the juveniles, Clary Connors. Countess Christie has lengthened out stride and she's drawn away to win. Forest Express racing. Miss Penny Money begin OK today. Transparent Lover jumped out fast. Oak Valley from the outside came away from the rails in the early part, but is going quickly. Transparent Love is having a bit of a bump with her in the early part. Gallagate is with those. Enemies come out fast on the grandstand side, and Hurricane Inicky is out there as well. So over on the other side of the course, as they race to the 800 and Brooks Express, it's sped to the lead in front of Gilded Angel and Classy Miss on her outside. Love of Georgia in the red colours is the deepest of those horses down on the flat side rail, followed by Silk Windsong Dancer, and Heather's about last of that uh, flat side division. On the grandstand side of the course now and Oak Valley led Transparent Lover. They're both under some pressure. Miss Penny Money and Gallagher are closer to the middle of the track and they're clear of Enemy and Hurricane Inicky. On the flat side, Brooks Express near the 300 leads by more than two lengths to Gilded Angel who's coming home well. Classy Miss and then came Love of Georgia and Heather. Miss Penny Money's put herself in the picture on the grandstand side. They look to be a little between the divisions. Miss Penny Money on the grandstand in, with Enemy and Brooks Express and Gilded Angel on the flat side. It's Gilded Gilded Angel getting to the front on the inside. Gilded Angel is the leader, and Gilded Angel has taken it out and beaten Brooks Express. Miss Penny Money third and the first home on the grandstand side in front of Enemy and Oak Valley. Next, Heather on the other side of the course in front of Love of Georgia, Classy Miss, and Windsong Dancer. Well back in the field on the grandstand again, we had Hurricane Inicky in company there with Gala Jade and Transparent Lover, and Silk was uh, one of the last to greet the judge. First and second, clearly on the flat side rail have beaten Miss Penny Money into third place on the grandstand side. Number 12 is the winner. Gilded Angel, ridden by Jason Patton, wore blinkers for the first time. Second, number three, Brooks Express, ridden by Jim Cassidy, was the pacemaker on the flat side rail. And third to Miss Penny Money, a very good performance because uh, coming so far away from the grandstand rail is always a disadvantage, yet she's run a great race and beaten the grandstand division pretty comfortably. 12, 3 and 7. Fourth in the race was Enemy who also came grandstand side and fifth was Oak Valley who led them up early on the grandstand side of the course. 12, 3, 7. They've run time of 110.4. She uh, has won the race very, very comfortably, Gilded Angel. She's a lovely big long loping strider. A $90,000 purchase. She is uh, a half sister to Be Discreet and She's Discreet who've uh, more than held their own in stakes company, particularly in Adelaide, trained by Matthew Adelton and ridden by uh, one of a number of informed jockeys in Melbourne in Jason Patton. They're all set for the second. They're racing, very slow to go, Pioneer Road, drop back after the start away quickly, high rolling, he'll go straight to the front, pass more jump smartly, quick star sitting up on the outside of Robin of Sherwood. They were followed by Shogun Lodge, he's in the centre a length away, getting back in the field on settling then is Pinnacle Road. And last of all, as they sweep off the back, Nostromo, 8.50 out. High rolling with his mouth wide open, led a length on, pass more, settling well. A length away in the field, quick star three out. Robin of Sherwood, the fence, and Shogun Lodges fifth. He's only three lengths away from the leader, high rolling, and Dye starting to niggle at him to go forward. Well back, Pinnacle Road, and Nostromo on the outside, whip them in. It's the Breeders' Plate winner, high rolling in front, pass Moore's looming up dangerously on the outside as they turn the bend. Quick star three out, Shogun Lodge two lengths away from Robin of Sherwood in the straight, and pass Moore quickly moved up on the outside, and he hit the front. Quick stars after him, York's had a go for the 
whip. Not a great deal there with Passmore and High Rolling's coming again. High Rolling the inside from Passmore and here's Shogun Lodge. He's letting down with a great run. Shogun Lodge wanted to duck in but he hit the lead from High Rolling and Passmore. Shogun Lodge, brilliant. Goes home, wins two lengths on the line. High Rolling second, Passmore third. They were followed by Quick Star, Robin of Sherwood, well back with Pinnacle Road and Nostromo, a long last. Well, Passmore was certainly found out there, wasn't he? He was found wanting in the stretch when High Rolling was headed by Passmore. High Rolling has fought back doggedly, but then Shogun Lodge has come to the outside and Dye put a couple around his tail with the whip in the right hand for a stride or two. He wanted to lay in on top of Robin of Sherwood, or Quick Star, I should say, but he's moved up, he's hit the lead, and in the end, he's raced away to win very, very easily. And he was the horse in the yard that had all of the improvements still in him as where Passmore was much more forward in his preparation last start and again today. And Shogun Lodge at 260 and 170 has raced away to win and really stamps himself as a real big contender for the Amy Golden Slipper. His style of racing will suit him absolutely perfectly for a race like the Slipper, where they'll go very hard in the early stages. He's got the ability to relax off the speed and he's still got plenty of improvement left in him. High rolling, a wonderful performance. First run since nearly losing his life over 1,200 metres. He showed great guts and determination at 2.30. And I've got to say, Passmore, he just pulled a little bit in the early stages, but he was disappointing. He had his chance, no third dividend. Yes, impressive Shogun Lodge, as we take you back.